Hello, this is Hedia Borzo and welcome to serentoots.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a wonderful, colorful logo. So let's get started. The first step is drag your logo here to create a new composition. Drop down your colorful logo here and scale it up. Hit F4 on the keyboard and set the track mat to alpha mat to use the alpha of this layer, this layer logo for this layer. So select these two layers and hit Control Shift C to pre-comp them and call it logo. Move all attributes. Uh, right click here, create a new solid and call it FN to apply fractal noise on it. Fractal noise. Turn up the contrast. And in the beginning of this comp, keyframe the brightness and set it to black color. Go further in time here. Set it to white color. And here, set the track mat to Luma mat and have a quick preview on it. Now we are using the white color as a mat for this layer. So uh, pre-comp these two layers again, select them and hit Control Shift C and call them logo F and create a new composition. Full HD, Hall, and 5 second long and call it Main. Go to Project Panel and drop down Logo FN here. Create a new solid and call it TP. Make it your comp size and apply Trap Code Particular on it. It's a third party plugin and you have to install it. So go to emitter section, emitter type and set it to layer. Create a new camera to spin around your scene. 35 millimeter. Tap C a couple of times. And now this layer is not a 3D layer, so hit F4 on the keyboard and turn it to a 3D layer. Go back to trap code particular and in emitter type we set it to layer, now define a layer for it here. Be careful, the layer should be a 3D layer, so set it to logo FN and have a quick preview on it. Now the particles are shooting in all directions and we are going to let them to shoot only in one direction from here to here. So set the direction to directional. And as you see, some particles are emitting from somewhere behind this layer. So to fix this issue uh, on version 3.0.1, this version of Trapcode Particular, you should go back to emitter type and set it to box. Scroll down a little bit and set the emitter size X, Y, and Z to zero. And go back again to emitter type and set it to layer. Now this issue has been fixed. So let's uh, turn up the number of particles, set it to 500. Uh, go to velocity, velocity is uh, the shooting speed, so set it to a number like uh, 250. Let's randomize it, randomize the velocity and set it to uh, 50 or 37 or 35. Now we are going to work with arc system. 
in the arc system the particles are emitting from the main particle so I uh, set the emit to continuously as you see some particles are emitting from the main particles so uh, turn up the number of the arc system particles set it to 50 and scroll down let's turn the feather all the way down set it to zero and for size let's randomize the size first and let the size to be large in the beginning become smaller in some point and become larger again scroll down and for color let it to get its color from the main particles so set the color from main to 100 percent and let's have a quick preview on it now i am going to do something i am going to let these particles to fill out this layer so i can do something increase the number of particles or a scale down this layer I suggest you to scale this layer down so hit S on the keyboard and set it to 50 now the particles are filling this layer so let's make it look more interesting so go to shading and turn on the shadow LED for main particles and for arc system Curl it open and turn down the adjust size to decrease the amount of shadow and adjust distance and that's it it's time to randomize the speed of the particles so go to physics section and in the physics time factor one is the real time less than one is the slow motion and more than one is the fast motion and zero is the frozen time means there is no motion at all so let it uh, to be played in real time till here go further in time and speed it up set it to a number like five go further turn it a little bit down set it to two go further again here uh, let it to be play in real time and here set it to zero means frozen time hit U on the keyboard and hit shift F9 to easy ease in it's time to add a little bit of camera movements so go to camera and somewhere around here keyframe the point of interest position and orientation go further in time tap see a couple of time and rotate the camera like this Do it so precisely and let's have a quick preview on it that's exactly what we want here tab C again to let the camera to go further away and see the result awesome now i'm going to create a reflection for my trap code particular so duplicate it with ctrl d hit enter on the keyboard and call it ref go to emitter section and rotate y set it to 180 degrees and here hit T on the keyboard and turn down the opacity set it to a number like 30 35 35 
Now go to project panel and drag the main comp here to create a new composition. Go to composition, composition setting and call it final. Now apply CC glass effect on it. Go further in time and go to surface and turn down the displacement set it to a negative number and turn down the height you have to play with these parameters set it to luminance something like this create a new adjustment layer here and call it CC for color correction apply curves and sharpen on it let's pull the brightness and contrast up Pull the red color down and pull this one up and put this one somewhere around here. It's the matter of your taste. Turn up the sharpen amount and that's it. Now I'm going to create a floor between my trap code particular and its reflection. So click here and create a new solid and call it floor apply grid on it and set it to width slider turn it up and turn this one down let's create an ellipse mask here Hold down shift, hit V on the keyboard, select this and put it somewhere here and set the blending mode to screen. Turn it to a 3D layer and put it here. Hit F on the keyboard to feather it out. Now let's have a quick preview on it. As you see, the floor is not affected by the camera movements. So go back to the main comp, copy the camera, and go to final comp and paste it here. And let's have a quick preview on it. That's it. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video.